Right now, your body is aging, your energy is dropping, recovery is slowing, and your cells are literally losing the ability to repair themselves. But what if you could hit the brakes? Imagine feeling more energized in your 40s than you did in your 20s. Better workouts, sharper recovery, and maybe even stronger testosterone. Sounds impossible, right? Well, it's exactly why top anti-aging researchers like Dr. David Sinclair have been obsessed with one tiny molecule and why elite athletes and longevity biohackers are quietly using it. You'll find it naturally in foods like broccoli, but the real magic happens when you take it in a concentrated form. Today, we're breaking down NMN, the so-called longevity molecule, what it's really doing in the body, what happened when I personally took it for months, and where the hype meets hard science. Quick heads up, full transparency, this video is a collab with Nature Can, I've been taking their NMN for several months in the background while filming and testing other things. This isn't a sales pitch, I'm here to share exactly what's changed for me, what the latest human studies show and where you should still be sceptical. If you've ever wondered whether NMN is worth your time, you're going to want to see this. Let's get into it. What is NMN? Okay, NMN stands for nicotinamide mononucleotide. It's a direct precursor to NAD+, a molecule your cells use to make energy, repair DNA, run mitochondria, and regulate sirtuin proteins, those longevity-linked enzymes you've probably heard about. NAD plus levels drop as we age. NMN is one of the fastest ways to bump NAD plus back up in lab tests. That's why it's become the centerpiece of a lot of longevity research and biohacking stacks. Why NAD plus matters? Why should you care about NAD plus? Because it's involved in energy, mitochondrial health, DNA repair, autophagy, and inflammation, the big pillars of cellular aging. Boosts NAD plus and in animals, you tend to see better mitochondrial function, less inflammation, better tissue repair, and in some models, improved lifespan metrics. That's the rationale behind NMN, but humans are not mice. So let's look at the human evidence next. I'm going to break down four key studies you need to know about, each telling a different piece of the NMN story. I'll give you the exact title so you can check them yourself, but here's the short real world takeaway for each. The NAD power-up trial titled The Efficacy and Safety of Beta Nicotinamide Mononucleotide NMN Supplementation in Healthy Middle-Aged Adults, a randomized multi-center double-blind placebo-controlled parallel group dose-dependent clinical trial. This 2022 trial tested 300, 600 and 900 milligrams a day for 60 days in 80 middle-aged adults. Result, NAD levels rose significantly at all doses. Participants walked further in a six-minute walk test and self-rated health scores improved versus placebo. It was safe up to 900 milligrams a day. Downside, only 60 days and a small sample but it's a solid, well-controlled, randomized control trial showing both biological and functional benefits. The Muscle Function Study titled Chronic Nicotinamide Mononucleotide Supplementation Elevates Blood Nicotinamide and Nean Dinucleotide Levels and Alters Muscle Function in Healthy Older Men. Also from 2022, this focused on older men taking 250 milligrams a day for 12 weeks. NAD plus increased with a slight improvement in gait speed and grip strength. Why it matters? This is one of the first studies showing NMN can support muscle function over months in an age group prone to decline. The artery flexibility study titled nicotinamide and the dinucleotide metabolism and arterial stiffness after long-term nicotinamide mononucleotide supplementation a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial. NMN was given for 12 weeks to assess vascular aging. It improved markers of NAD metabolism and showed a trend towards reduced arterial stiffness, pulse wave velocity, especially in people with higher BMI or blood sugar, not a cure-all, but promising for cardiovascular aging. The Testosterone Protection Study Preclinical titled Nicotinamide Mononucleotide Supplementation ameliorates testicular damage induced by ischemia reperfusion through reshaping macrophage and neutrophil inflammatory properties. 
International Immunopharmacol 2025. This one's in mice, but it's interesting. NMN boosted testicular NAD+, improved sperm counts and raised serum testosterone after injury. It shows NMN can protect Ladex cells under stress. Still, this isn't proof it raises testosterone in healthy men. It's an early promising signal for future research. So, put it all together, NMN reliably raises blood NAD plus in humans, delivers small but measurable benefits to muscle function, exercise capacity and possibly arterial health. And in preclinical models, it can protect testicular function and testosterone after injury. But the reality is, we don't yet have a large long-term human trial proving NMN extends lifespan or consistently raises testosterone in healthy men. My personal experience. Full transparency, I've been taking Nature Can's NMN for several months while filming this channel. Here's what I actually noticed. Mornings felt cleaner like my brain booted up a little faster not jittery, just more on. Workouts flowed better and recovery between back-to-back -back sessions felt quicker. Libido, a small lift, but I didn't have issues with this prior. Sleep quality, didn't change much, but most likely because my sleep is currently dialed in. But I did experience more nights in the week where I didn't wake up every other hour. One more thing I noticed, and this might just be me, also, some of you did mention it in my other video comments. My skin looked a bit fresher, mostly in the mornings. Not some miracle anti-wrinkle thing, just a slightly healthier tone. That's not something NMN is proven to do in humans yet, but given NAD Plus's role in cell repair, it wouldn't surprise me if future studies find skin benefits too. These are just my own signals while still doing the basics, sleeping well, training, eating right. Anecdotes aren't proof, but they line up pretty closely with what the human trials suggest. And just to be clear, I'm just telling you what I felt. How NMN might help slow aging. Let me break down the mechanisms in simple terms. Energy and mitochondria. NMN gets converted into NAD+, which fuels your mitochondria, the tiny power plants inside your cells. More NAD+, means better mitochondrial reactions, more cellular energy, and less oxidative stress from ROS, reactive oxygen species. That's especially helpful for tissues that tend to decline with age, like muscle. Sirtuins and repair. NAD plus switches on a group of proteins called sirtuins. These are like your body's maintenance crew. They help repair DNA, regulate metabolism, and keep cells working efficiently. In animal studies, more active sirtuins are linked to a longer health span living healthier for longer, not just adding years. Inflammation and immune tone. NMN seems to reduce the slow, smoldering inflammation that comes with age, and at least in animal studies, and some early human markers are moving in the same direction. Cutting down that background inflammation is a big deal for longevity, because chronic inflammation quietly damages tissue over time. Vascular health. A couple of human trials hint improvement or at least positive trends in arterial stiffness and walking capacity. That's not just a lab number, that's functional aging in action. How well your body moves and gets blood, where it needs to go as the years tick by. The testosterone link. In mice, multiple studies show NMN protects testicular tissue from different insults, ischemia reperfusion toxins. It raises testicular NAD+, reduces oxidative stress and inflammatory signaling, and in those models, it increased serum testosterone and sperm counts. That's promising and mechanistically plausible because Ladex cells, which make testosterone, are energy hungry and vulnerable to oxidative stress. In humans, direct, well-powered trials showing NMN increases baseline testosterone in healthy men don't exist yet. So, we have a biologically plausible route. Better mitochondrial function, lower inflammation, healthier Ladex cells, and animal evidence that it can work after damage, but not a guaranteed raise in normal healthy men. Dosing and safety. Across trials, doses and regimens vary. 250 milligrams a day for six to 12 weeks was common in older adult trials and was well tolerated. Multi-dose trials used 300 to 900 milligrams a day and showed dose-dependent NAD increases 
up to 900 milligrams over two months. A six week runner trial used 300 to 1200 milligrams a day alongside training and reported improved ventilatory threshold and aerobic capacity. Those higher doses were short term. How to use NMN. If you're thinking of trying NMN, here's a practical conservative approach that's rooted in the trials and common sense. Lifestyle first, sleep, training, protein and body fat management are the biggest levers for aging and testosterone. Start low, 500 milligrams a day is a dose with good support of human data and tolerability. If you want to experiment longer term, that's reasonable and matches a lot of published trials. Short course testing, do a 12 week run and log energy, training, recovery, sleep and libido. With exercise, if you're training consistently, trials show NMM plus training seems to be synergistic for performance markers. So pair NMM with a decent training block, not couch to capsule. If you're curious, I'll leave links to the exact papers in the description, read them yourself. And I want to know, have you tried NMN? Drop your experience in the comments. Energy, sex drive, sleep, workouts, everything. And finally, NMN is one of the most credible NAD boosters we have so far. Human trials show it reliably raises NAD plus and produces small, meaningful improvement in function and vascular markers. If you want to try the same NMN product I used, the link is in the description and get a discount on your first order using the voucher code. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.